Hello class, this is a video tutorial on polynomials part 2. In this video we'll be uh, sketching the basic uh, outline of polynomials using the different properties of polynomials. So here are the properties that we're going to recognize. The constant term of any polynomial is its y-intercept. The degree of any polynomial determines the most number of roots the polynomial has. And the number of turning points any polynomial has is always one fewer the number of roots. Missing an S here. So let's take for example. Let's take a look at this very big polynomial here. It has degree five, and so when we well this has been factorized for us, so we can see it has the roots negative three. Use a different color here negative 1, positive 2, negative, uh, positive 5, and 0. Notice how it has degree 5, and so it has 5 roots at most. It's impossible for this to have a 6th root. And notice how because it has 5 roots, we can count its turning points. 1, 2, 3, and four. So it always has one fewer turning points than the number of roots. Take a look once again. We have this polynomial degree four. Okay. And, uh, sorry here, I, just, I miscounted here. It should be three turning points. Um, when we factorize this, it has two roots, negative four, and positive 2. Now, just because it has degree 4 doesn't mean it needs to have four different roots. That number, the degree, only determines the most number of roots it will have, but the turning point will always be one less the degree of, of the polynomial. So it has one turning point here, two, and three turning points. Another property that polynomials have is even degree polynomials follow a similar pattern or shape as f of x equals x squared. Let's take a look here. So here we have uh, the quadratic uh, of a parabola. Notice how it goes up. I go sorry, it goes down into it and leaves outwards from it. Sorry, I'm just going to leave those. Even if it were um, a negative coefficient, it goes up towards it and down away from it. Likewise, when we have degree 4, it comes in and eventually out. Just the only difference that is that there are turning points in between from when it enters and leaves. So once again, enters and leaves similar to this one but it has different turning points um, in between from when it enters and leaves when it's a degree six you can see how it's kind of like a parabola except in between the two endpoints it has lots of different turning points and different roots likewise here it enters and leaves like a parabola, but it's got lots of little details in between. And this pattern will follow for the degree 8, degree 10, degree 12, etc. Odd degree polynomials follow a similar pattern of shape to f of x equals, that should be x cubed. So in this one, it enters from below and exits from above. Okay, and it has some turning points in between. For if it has a negative coefficient, it enters from above, exits below. Now take a look at degree five. Enters from below, exits from above. But in between, there are different turning points. Notice the similarities between x to the power of 3 and x to the power of 5 
end. If it's a negative, it enters from above, exits from below. But it has lots of little turning points in between. And likewise with degree 7, degree 9, degree 11, degree 13, and so on. So let's calculate, let's do a few examples here. Let's calculate the zeros or the roots of the function and hence sketch, uh, hence sketch them showing all x-intercepts. So here we go. This one's our basic quadratic. Here we can just let this equal zero and we'll factorize. So this will give us x uh, plus one, x plus two, is equal to zero, giving us x equals minus one, x equals minus two. Doing a quick sketch of this. Minus one, minus two, it's quadratic. And even for this one, I can indicate what my uh, y-intercept is, but although that's that's not what we're looking for in this question. Minus one, minus two, and that is two. There we are. Let's do it again for the next question. Once again, we let the expression equal zero to find the roots. We factor out x on the outside, x squared minus three x minus 10 equals zero. I can factor this group again to become x minus five, x plus three is equal to zero, giving us three roots, x equals zero, x equals five, and x equals negative three. Sketching this out, we will get negative three, zero. Okay, we should move this across like this. Three, zero, and five. It has a positive, so it's entering from below, exiting above. So it should look like kind of like this. Oops. There we are. That is the function sketched. Oh, let's indicate what these are. This is negative three, zero, and five. Let's do this again. This time we have a, uh, what's this? This is, if you look at the powers, two, four, and six, this is a polynomial degree six. Same thing will happen, we just let everything equal zero. But now we let each factor equal zero. So this will become x squared equals zero, x equals zero, taking the square root of both sides. We let the next one, x minus two squared equals zero, square root of both sides, x equals positive two, x minus, um, what's this, sorry, x minus, uh, sorry, x plus three squared is equal to zero, square root of both sides here, leave us with that x equals negative three so this is degree six with a positive coefficient so this should look somewhat like a parabola because it's an even degree so it should come out something like this except it has three different roots that are repeating. So we have negative three, zero, and two. So just as a reminder, it should look something like this. 
but it has well it has if it's degree six it should have five turning points so I believe it should look like this here's one two turning points three four and five look something like this I'm not entirely sure what the heights of these are although that's not what we are looking for in this exercise we're just looking for the roots and the general shape of what the polynomial might look like let's do this one more time we have the function i of x so for this we let everything equal zero all of this equals zero, giving us all the roots. We get x squared equals zero, x equals zero, x plus five is equal to zero, x equals negative five, x plus one is equal to zero, x equals negative one, and lastly, x minus three equals zero, x equals positive three. So we have these one, two, three, four different roots. And if you take a look, we have the degree. We can count this by looking at all the powers. This is two, three, four, five. This is degree five. So this should look like, kind of like a cubic. Okay, so let's take a look. Another way we can uh, further define this if it has a degree 5 it should have four turning points so let's sketch this here we go so negative 5 negative 1 0 and Notice how zero has a repeating root because of the x squared. So at zero, it should only touch the x-axis, not go through it. This has a positive coefficient. So like a regular cubic, it enters from below, exits above. So we're already getting a shape of what this might look like. So it should look something like So, here's x equals zero, it should only touch this point, like this, and then back around, indicating our points here, this is negative five, negative one, zero, and three. So I hope that gave you an insight into using the properties of polynomials to do basic sketches of what they might look like. I hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.